The single malt whisky making process starts with malting. All single malt whisky is made from this, barley. Most of the barley is grown in Scotland. It makes sense because it's closer to the maltings and closer to the distilleries. But it's not a legal obligation. The Scotch whisky industry has for many, many years taken barley from around the world should the harvest fail in Scotland. It can be a wee bit damp in my home country. But this little seed, this little kernel, is going to be giving us huge amount of flavour. Remarkable to think that something so small can have such a huge impact on the final product. If you think of this seed of barley, this grain of barley, as being just like a packet of starch, we're wanting to get into that starch. We're wanting to convert that starch into sugar because we need that sugar to turn into alcohol. But inside the barley, which has just come off the fields, which is sitting about 12% moisture, that starch is wrapped up in cell walls and protein. It's bundled up. It's held, clenched tight within each individual grain of barley. We've got to get into that starch. We've got to break down that protein, break down these cell walls to make the starch available. The way that we do this is by playing a confidence trick on the barley. We soak it first in water. This is called steeping. We put the barley in a big tub of water and we let it sit for 24 hours. And then we drain the water off. Like if you and I were plunged into a swimming pool and kept underneath the water, we'd soon drown. The same thing ha is effectively happening with the barley. It's absorbing the water, but it also needs oxygen to start growing. So we drain the water off, and then we add some more water and let it steep again, and then drain it off once more. The barley is soaking up this water. It's raising its moisture content from 12% when it comes into the maltings up to 46%. It's getting plump and fat. After that, we want to take the barley out of those steeps and into the malting and germinating system. Traditionally, this would have taken place on a malting floor. Each distillery would have had its own steeps and its own malting floor. There are still a few left in Scotland. And here the barley would have been laid out on a thick carpet, about half a metre deep. And over the period of three, four, five days, depending on the ambient temperature, the barley would start to grow. The cell walls would break down and the starch become available. It takes a lot of work to work a malting floor. Trust me, I've done it. You have to continually shovel and change the barley, turning it round, because the barley is growing. It's beginning to put out shoots at one end and roots at the other. And these will tangle together and just form a great big mat. You won't be able to kiln it or make whiskey out of it at all. Also, it's generating heat. So it's hotter at the bottom than it is at the top. So you need, for even germination, you need to keep shoveling it or ploughing it to make sure the heat is evenly distributed and growth is even as well. These days... Most of the malt is made in large commercial maltings. The same process happens. The malt comes from the steep and drops into a huge cylindrical drum. Cool, humid air is passed over the top of the barley and every 24 hours or more if necessary, the drum is given a gentle rotation and that allows all these roots and shoots to separate and allow that germination to be even. You notice I'm not using specific times here. Because the genius of the maltster is knowing what the temperature of the water in the steeps is and how long the barley has to steep and how long it has to stay in the germination drum. It's done through experience. Ambient temperature will have a huge impact on it. It's actually more difficult, certainly in floor maltings, to make effectively malted barley in the summer months where even in Scotland the temperature is relatively high. Winter is slightly better. A cooler temperature is good for even uh, germination of malt. Eventually, after a few days in the drum, the starch will have become available. There's various tests that you can do for this. If you split open a seed of malted barley and rub it on your fingers, 
Initially, it will form like a little ball. It will just rotate on your fingers. It will be quite hard. That means that the protein is still there, the cell walls are still there. If, however, after a, another day, you crack it open and you rub it between your fingers and it just gets covered in flour, that's when you know it's ready. The old guys used to pick up a seed of barley, split it and try and write their name on their malt shovel or on a blackboard on the wall. That was a sign that the malt was ready. It's absorbed this moisture. It's about 40%. It's growing. But we don't want it to grow any further because if it grows any further, it turns back into a barley plant. We want that starch. And that's where the next part of the process takes place. Thank you.